Hey guys, welcome to Winecraft. My name is Mario Luna with MarioLunaSom.com where we develop the sommelier in you. And we're gonna start with one sherry that you have to begin your startup kit with. It's very simple. It's this Alvear 1927 Solera. The name of the grape, Pedro Jimenez. It's from Montilla Morelos, Spain, Southern Spain. Why am I showing you this wine? Because 99% of the time I go over wine education. It benefits you. I don't talk about the cost because the production sells itself. The process of you learning about wine sells itself. And then you go branch out, go buy it yourself. And you learn and you show others. That's what I'm all about, especially on MarioLunaSom.com. But I'm showing the, you this 1927 Pedro Jimenez because the wine is from 1927, some parts of it, and the price is $25. It's unheard of. You can find a wine like that to pique your curiosity. Well, let's go over this wine, its production, the other varietals that go with it, and this is your startup kit. Yes, I keep the bottle closed because I have an anniversary showing coming up soon. If I open this and she finds out I'm going to be in trouble. So this is your Sherry Startup Kit. Now we will work our way into branching out this Alviar 1927 Solera in just a second. But we're going to start with the varietals. Palomino, Muscatel, Pedro Zimenez. The Palomino is the base, while the Muscatel and Pedro Zimenez are sweet. And this is where the branching out begins. In the locations where Montilla Morales is in southern Spain grows only Pedro Zimenez, while in Sevilla and Jerez, they grow all the varietals. Now by law, all sherries from Sevilla and Jerez will grow Palomino in a percentage base. It has to be there, or it's against the law. While in Martina Morales, creates Pedro Zimenez where the wine is sweet, raisin, toffee, fig. It is big. Beautiful, but uh, yeah, you'll know it's from Montilla Morales. Now, how do we get to the varying levels of sweetness? It starts in the fermentation process. So now, when you convert sugars into alcohol, sherry producers will stop it by adding a distilled spirit. It's not on the on this piece of paper, not in my notes, but by doing that, it stops the process, stops converting sugars into alcohol. And this is when the sherry producers now begin to creating their craft, starting with the press motion. So when they press it once, the first press, it creates phenos, where it's dry, pale, lots of almond tinge, where if they press it a second time and they separate the, the, the juice from the grape, it becomes oloroso, where it becomes dry to sweet, toffee, caramel, fig. It is quite remarkable how these sherry producers put everything together. And then how it's kept is how the sherry comes to form. Because after they press either first or second, it becomes installed into the Solera barrels. Now Solera is where they take all these barrels and stack them up against the wall. The oldest sherry barrels are at the bottom, the newest sherry barrels are at the top, and they take the sherry and fill it up all the way almost to the top. Why? Because they want to make sure that the wine is oxidized, and there's a little bit of a fungus called flor that creeps up to the surface and blocks air from coming into the sherry. It's fun, it's magical how that works. The winemaker then takes a little sherry from every barrel. And even if they're, it can be hundreds of years old in that blend. That's what makes sherry so special. So let's round out with the Alviar. So I want this to be the starting point of your sherry knowledge. This is a Solera 1927. Why is it 1927? That's the year the wine began, the winery began. That's right, it's that old. 
And by purchasing this wine at wine.com, you can actually taste wine from 1927 at an affordable price. It's incredible. The Pedro Jimenez is the only grape that's allowed to grow there, so expect it to be very sweet. Fig, toffee, blueberry, yum. And again, it's from Montia Morales. And this is your Sherry Startup Kit. I hope you enjoyed the notes from this week's wine craft with your Sherry Startup Kit, especially knowing that you can try a wine from 1927 with the Alvear Pedro Zimenez. We'll have the links below. If you try it, let us know. Send us your feedback, what you think of this presentation. And we have all the links to other Alvear style sherries and wines from Montilla Morales. Hope you enjoyed this week's presentation. See you next week.